Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, there are a lot of endings going on out there. Um, a lot of endings, a lot of fightings, a lot of sneaky plans. Look at a masculine or somebody wants out of a situation. I'm feeling that masculine energy, okay? Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, and thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, all the love, you guys. I hope you're having a great weekend. Um, yeah, I, I'm being told to just look in behind the scenes, okay? Um, you're moving on to calmer waters right now. I feel like this is you, or this could be your person wanting to get out, being spiritually led. There is a masculine here that's surrounded by spirit guides, okay? And they are trying to lead this person out of a really bad situation. Um, I feel like they're scared. This masculine is scared. Yeah, and they're dealing with a karmic who knows she's losing here. And she doesn't know what to do. She's angry. Um, I feel like she's kind of studying you. She could have been doing some kind of spell work. This is like a shapeshifter. If you look at this really close, it looks like her thumb is bent backwards. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like she is. Yep, yeah, look at how mad she is. She's mad. Big, big mad. Furious. Okay, and I feel like she's directing all that anger at you. Um, and you're out here very peaceful and calm, though. So I'm feeling a lot of um, spiritual protection around you as well. Okay. She is absolutely furious. Yeah, and this masculine, they keep watching you. So um, here's the thing. She, I feel like, too, she's busting this masculine watching you. Or um, I don't know if she's got some kind of... I feel like she may have some kind of tracking on this person. <laughs> like, um, like my kids, they have an app that they have on their phone that tracks where people are going. Okay, like... Um, it, it, like um, like my daughter can track her brother and tell me where he is. Okay. That kind of thing. It, this person, this masculine could be driving around your neighborhood, kind of scoping out your neighborhood, seeing if anybody is in your driveway, seeing if you have anybody else. And this karmic, I feel like she's found out about that, or she's found out that this person could be watching you from their phone as well so she could have some kind of i don't know some kind of weird tracking app on this person's phone and she finds out okay so either take it how it resonates either either she can track where they are and they're in your neighborhood driving down your street <laughs> or or she can see that they're checking you out online okay so social media and she goes crazy. Yeah, as soon as she finds out, she goes ballistic, okay? She could even be getting physical. This could be physical fights with your person. She's absolutely furious, and she, um, she's got, like, a big anger management issue. Like, she can't control herself. Um, yeah, she finds out this masculine is watching you one way or another, either on his phone or from his car, and she freaks out. This is somebody who's going crazy, okay, <laughs> with anger. What is this card? There's just, there's going to be a fight. I don't know what this is all about. She could even have a friend fighting with this person. If you see this, the, these two are friends, right? It looks like they're high-fiving each other. But look closer. Their fists are balled up, right? So she may even get another friend involved. And she ends up kicking this person out of the house. Um, so this masculine is going to end up, like, out of the house with nowhere to go, Okay. Um, she may even be, like, um, changing the locks on the door to keep this person out. Because I see them, like, seriously out on the street with nothing. 
Okay, she completely flips out. There's a, there is definitely a fight that goes down. I feel like it gets physical. And there's another masculine around this karmic that protects the karmic and helps the karmic kick the masculine out of a home. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. I'm sorry, it's a long story. Um, yeah, somebody's going to feel like a complete clown. Um, yeah, I feel like it's going to be this masculine. You know, honestly, she may end up calling the police. I'm seeing the blue and red flashing lights here. She may actually call the police on this person. If this masculine puts his hands on this karmic, they're going to be ending up going to jail or the karmic, they could both end up going to jail. They could both end up going to jail. I think it's going to get physical. I feel like the masculine is just going to be defending themselves because it's like this fight doesn't pop off until this masculine gets home, okay? After watching you or gets home with their phone after watching you, okay? That's when this fight pops off. And this masculine just kind of like walks into it. Like he walks through the door and she may just like, like smack him or something. I don't know. But he literally walks in the door and that's the fight immediately pops off. And he's not expecting this fight, you know, but he's getting busted. Like she's tracking him. She's m literally monitoring his every move. She could be mo uh, moder monitoring both the usage of his phone and uh, tracking his movements in his car okay for real yeah see initially this masculine's gonna walk in like this he walks into the house and she's popping off at him and he's like what what did i do you know what i mean like what uh yeah and he realizes he's been busted yeah he's been busted yeah he wants out of there anyway, collective, okay? This masculine is, I, I, and something about this fight also wakes him up. He realizes there's got to be more to life than this. Coming home to a dump, it looks like their house is falling apart. The foundation is broken. See how the foundation is falling apart. Um, yeah, this person wakes up from, like, illusions. They would just wake up. This karmic actually helps this person realize they want more out of life. Okay? They can't take it anymore. They can't even go home to a, to a dumpy home and not have to walk on eggshells around this karmic. Like, she could very well um, be, she could fight with this person like this all the time. Okay? But this time they've been busted. Like you can look at look at their face. Oh crap! Here we go. I've been busted. Um, <laughs> right, right. So she finds out that this person is kind of stalking you. Oh yeah, and I just saw the phone card too. Shoot. Um, she finds out that this person is stalking you, and I feel like it's both in their vehicle and on their phone. Um. And she loses her mind. Okay, so what else can you show me? Someone else gets involved as well. Kind of tries to restrain your person. Yeah, it's the end of this. There's other people that are going to see it. Like, this is going to be, you know, it feels like a domestic dispute. Okay? And everyone in the neighborhood, I feel like people are, they're going to hear this. There's going to be, I can even hear things being broken things being shoved into walls and people there's a lot of screaming involved there's going to be neighbors in their neighborhood that are going to be standing outside their house like what is going on maybe that's why i'm i'm seeing the flashing blue lights right i'm i'm feeling like that that's this is who calls the police are the neighbors <gasps> So the neighbors have to call the police on this fight because it's that bad. 
okay, it's that bad of a fight. Yeah, because your person wants to leave. The karmic won't let them. But yet at the same time, she's kicking their butt all over the place because they're watching you. Yeah, because of the, they're watching you. I feel like this during this fight, this karmic may even say something to the masculine, like to the effect that they're threatening you. Okay, um, like I feel like this karmic wants you gone, collective. They want you gone, but you're spiritually protected. Thank you, divine. <laughs> Thank you, Divine. Yeah, but you're spiritually protected. We've got God out here. This is God. Okay? This is God. So, um, yeah, I feel like the karmic wants the worst for you. Okay? Um, but you are protected from, from anybody sending you any bad energy or making any plans against you. I feel like this karmic is going to get... Um, is going to get some kind of like major karma for what they're doing. And they've been doing everything that they can. See, there this karmic has been trying to copy you. Maybe um she could have even been like begging your person for I don't know. But it's just look at the look on her face. She's doing everything that she can. But um she can't copy you. She can't be you. Okay, look at this is you doing what you do, and this is her trying to do what you do and be like you, and she can't. Okay, she can't compete. She doesn't compare. Okay, um, and I feel like this masculine wants out. They're so they're so tired of this. If anything, this masculine is comparing the karmic with you. Okay. If anything, this masculine is comparing the karmic with you and thinking that, you know, um, they can't handle, they can't take being with the karmic anymore. They want to come and be with you now. You could have your own platform in the public eye as well. And I feel like that makes this karmic really jealous as well. She's jealous of everything about you, collective. Everything that you're doing, your beauty, your skills, your abilities, your spiritual knowledge, the fact that you're protected by God, she's angry about that too. I'm telling you, this karmic, she's going to get punished for, for continuing to try to cause chaos, not, in, not just in your life, but with this connection. Okay, and this masculine, yeah, look, look, this karmic, I feel like they've got, this karmic has evidence that this masculine has been wanting you, stalking you, watching you, driving through your neighborhood, looking you up online, because this masculine is really worried that you're going to get with someone new, you know, especially if you're in the public eye doing as well and shining as as well as you are here you're attracting a lot of attention to you okay um and this masculine is they're paranoid about that they're worried about that so they're keeping a really close eye on you but this they just been busted the karmic has evidence she's been tracking this person monitoring them yeah, I feel like there's a there's a fight that's going to pop off here. And your masculine spirit guides are really trying to work with this person. I feel like um, the divine wants this masculine out of that situation. Okay, period, dot. They want this masculine out of there. They're waking up from all the illusions. That's what this is. A masculine waking up and realizing there's got to be more to life than this. Okay? So they're waking up from the illusions. They're realizing this karmic. It's never going to stop. The fighting's never going to stop. If anything, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Now it's to the point where the police are being called. The neighbors are coming out to check on people. It's loud. Things are getting broken. Um, she's getting violent. She's getting physical. It's not good. 
And this masculine is realizing, man, they got to get out of there. Their spirit guides are trying to get them out of there. And that's a confirmation. You know, and all this masculine can think about is you, okay? Um, let's get... Let's get some mixed emotions on it, okay? Because look at this, look at this person. Like, they're thinking, what have I done? What have I gotten myself into? What have I started? Okay, they're afraid of the karmic. They're on eggshells every day. They can't stand it. All right, so what's going on with this masculine? What else can you show me? Ooh. Oh, they're vulnerable. So their life is being shaken up, man. They're to the point where literally they've got nowhere to go. Uh, and I, I really do feel like this is all the divine getting your person out of there because they are removed. They, I, I feel like somebody here gets kicked out of a home because of this fight. There's another masculine energy there that maybe like helps to get this person out. You know, by fighting with them, but still, it's a tower moment. But that's what this person needs, is this major shakeup to get out. Both of these people, this karmic and this masculine, could end up going to jail. But that's going to get them out of the situation. Okay? Either way, this karmic situation is literally crumbling under this person's feet. Under the karmic's feet. Okay, it's a very vulnerable situation. It's going to leave this masculine feeling desperate. Because, like I said, I feel like somebody here gets kicked out of a home or taken, taken out of a home by the police. And they may not have anywhere to go. You know, if you, if you look at this, um, where is it? It's in here somewhere, that person on the street, okay? <laughs> I thought I saw a person on the street out here. Um, yeah, I feel like there's, a, there's another masculine that kind of boots this person out of this fight. Okay. Yeah, and I, this masculine, they're longing for you. They're in their car a lot. I feel like this person, they may even travel to you. Okay. Um, once they get out of jail, after this fight, they may come directly to you, collective. Because they cannot stop thinking about you. Yep. Yep. They, um, they're going to want, you like your nurturing, um, your nurturing abilities. They're going to want to be comforted and consoled, right? No, I don't see that happening. I've got two cards stuck together here. Yep, th this is like a domestic dispute. This is that big fight that happens, Okay. And they're going to have nowhere to go. They're, they're going to want to come to you um, for a place to stay, a place to sleep. Yeah. And I feel like they're going to, yeah, when, when they're done with all of this mess that's happening, the fighting, the jail, everything like that, right, out on, out on the street, all of that, they're coming directly to you, collective. Um. But they're going to want a place to stay. They're going to want to start over like this person. They are closing out a cycle here. Yeah, they're going to want to come to you. Because they're not going to be able to go back to that to that home. Okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. They're, gonna, they're in a major depression right now. I feel like they're breaking free, though. Spirit's trying to get them out, but I'm telling you, it's ending in a massive tower moment. That's this. A huge major shakeup. That's this. Um, yeah. And I feel like this person knows it's coming. I feel like the karmic has um, her punishment coming as well. What else can you show me? Just, I'm telling you, major endings... Um, toxic fights, tower moments. Yeah, it's it's just a lot of. This is the this is the kind of energy that's going on out here this weekend. Okay, 
for real. It's just a lot. There's a lot going on. It's a lot of shakeups, a lot of endings, a lot of fighting, people losing out here big time, getting their karma, masculines ending up on the street. I mean, you know, it's just a lot, okay? That's really, truly what the energy feels like. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's see what this masculine wants to say. Okay. What, do, what does this person want to say to the collective? What do they want to say to the collective? I'm so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much more. Please understand. I need my space right now. Yeah, because they're going through this. They're going through this. Okay, please give me a second chance. I wish you would knock on my door. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. I feel empty without you. I will take action soon. Please believe in me. I'm always here for you. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Yeah. This person's going to be feeling very lost after everything is said and done here with this karmic situation. This isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. Yeah. And they will be coming back, but they're also going to need a place to stay, Collective. I'm not, uh, I'm thinking you're already fine all on your own. You're already in a place of peace. You're calm. You're over this person. You're putting this behind you. You're releasing this and moving forward, okay? And you're very divinely protected as well. But um, I, I'm really getting the sense that you're closing out a cycle here and you're done with this person. So um, it may take them a while, but they're coming back in and they're, they are going to need a place to stay. And that's going to be up to you. I don't see that happening, but that's completely up to you. Okay. Okay. 